In this video we will go over the SMD of the auto bed leveling kit. So what's included in the kit is a SG90 servo. It has been pre-soldered with the wires with the, the connector. The fittings and mounting hardware that comes with the servo. Uh, some cable ties. The Z switch with the cables already soldered to it. One jumper. Two M2 nuts. Two M2 by 16 screws, the printed lever arm, and then the Perspex component that mounts uh, the whole assembly to the frame of the printer. Okay, the first thing that we'll do is let's get the jumper out of the way because it's a very small component. We don't want to lose that. So we'll take the jumper, and on your ramps board, on your electronics, you'll see that they are next to the the reset button. So there's your power. Um, there's your reset button and on the left hand side of the reset button there's three pins and we, we're going to add this jumper to the two pins that's the furthest away to the to the side of the board the two pins are marked 5 volt and VCC so that will then distribute power to the pins that will be used for the for the servo The next step will be to mount the server to the laser cut component. So if you, uh, we take the laser cut component, if you still need to uh, remove the laser film on both sides, you're welcome to do that. And then we're going to mount the, the server from the, the back. So we take the server so that the um, output shaft is on your right hand side. And you take this component that, that fixing interface or on your left hand side and then we fit it from the back and you'll see in the fixing hardware there's two the two small uh, the two um, bigger screws are to mount the, the server so we'll mount it from the back into the perspex component okay now we've mounted the server to the laser cut component so it looks like that nicely mounted to it. The next step is to mount the Z switch. There will be a label on that says Z switch and we're going to mount it to the the arm on which the switch will will rotate. So we'll take the switch and okay first we'll take the the arm to connect it to the server. You'll see that there's three different types of arms in the packet will take the one that has only an arm to the one side it looks like that and we can slot it into the printed component it will fit nice and flush into the printed component like that when we've done that we can take the switch you'll see that the lever has been removed if it hasn't been removed you can remove the, the metal lever from the, the switch and we will mount the switch so that the button that triggers the switch are right below the, the white arm that will be mounted to the servo and we'll mount it with the two M2 by 16 screws from the back so it will come through the back of the printed component and it, we will mount the, with the two nuts in, in front. Now that we've mounted the switch to the arm, it will look like this. This is the back of the arm and this is the front of the arm. And it should be nicely mounted so that there's no play between the arm and the, and the switch. Okay, we're not going to mount the the arm to the servo yet we first need to find the correct orientation for the the arm and you'll see there's a hole on the top right hand side of the perspex part after we have mounted the the arm to the servo with the last screw that's in the packet uh, we we can tie the the wires with one of the cable ties to the to to that hole the other cable ties are to fix the cable along the 
the other cables to, on the way to the, the electronics. Now that we will mount the server with the Perspex bracket to the to the printer. If you are upgrading your printer, you will see that uh, there's already two M3 by 16 screws that mount the triangular component that uh, fits in there. If you are building a new printer, these two screws will be part of your of your kit. Okay, there we have mounted the perspex component to the side of the, the carriage with the two M3 screws and the two nuts and now the next step is to connect the, the cable of the server to the ramps board. Okay, so if this is your ramps board you'll see there's the reset button on the left hand side we've um, connected the jumper and we will connect the server on the right hand side on the first row of three pins on the right hand side of the reset button and we'll connect the green wire to closest to the side of the board so we'll connect the server like that okay now we've connected the server to the RAMS board and when you switch the printer on you'll hear that the server makes a rotation um, if you are still building your printer you will follow the, um, these steps a bit later on when you can switch on your printer so when you switch it on you'll hear that the, the server goes to the, the zero position or the resting position and now it's ready to connect the on to the to the server so we'll connect it in the horizontal position to the back and we connect it by pushing the the white arm of the server onto the output shaft of the server and then we fix it with a small screw that was in the fixing hardware of the of the um, that came with the, the server The next step will be to connect the, the wire of the switch to the ramps board. So the, this switch will go into the exact same position of the, the Z switch that was mounted to the, um, to the frame of the printer. If you are upgrading your printer, now the end switches goes onto those three sets of three pins there. The bottom row of pins are for the X switch. The X is the horizontal movement. The second one will leave open. The third one is for the Y switch, that's the bed. And then the next one is open. And then the, uh, what's that, the one, two, three, four, fifth row of pins are for the Z switch. And we will connect it. The two wires that are connected goes on to the two pins that's on the left hand side. So the red wire we are not using and that goes on the right hand side. Like that. Now you are welcome to tie the wires down to the hole there at the top. The wire of the servo and the the switch and to make sure that if the, the server moves down that these wires are long enough to take up that movement.